<clears throat> yeah, you're tuned in uh, to the most shadow band man in the land once again. Got my hair fixed. <laughs> um, now, um, we have, I- I've been listening to Jim Fetzer, and right now this call is talking about uh, how Mexicans do uh, what they call blockbusting in L.A. Uh, that's an interesting topic, and I'll do that in the next video. But on this same Jim Fetzer episode, you had some uh, Trump. Uh, you know, Professor said he supports Trump, but he might not be able to vote for him because Trump is to the right of Biden when it comes to Israel, and that's what I, I've been I've been saying that without, without Trump even saying what he said lately, I already knew that. I mean, it's just it's too obvious. Like, why don't people? They're, they're, oh, he didn't. One of the callers like he was right about everything except for oh Trump didn't stuff. He didn't get us into any new wars. He didn't try to start any new war. Now, uh, yeah, by the grace of God, we're lucky we didn't get into any new wars. But Trump did almost everything uh, he could to start a new war, uh, with, especially with Iran. This guy um, killed Qasem Soleimani, uh, a, a pretty, a pretty much a modern day hero, actually. This guy, if it wasn't for Qasem Soleimani. There probably wouldn't be any minorities left in the in the, uh, in, in Southwest Asia, um, which most of you refer to as the Middle East. But um, now, you know, as I said, people are stealing. Um, you know, the the uh, so-called alternative media is is, is stealing my rhetoric pretty much because um, now it's fashionable to actually criticize Israel and um, and the Judaism, but. When I started doing it, it, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a thing. But no, like this guy Trump killed Soleimani, and Soleimani was instrumental in making sure that uh, Sunnis and Salafis didn't, you know, were, you know, annihilate Christians, Shia Muslims, um, you know, Kurds. I, I mean, I'm not a fan of the Kurds, but you know that it, that it, that area, they're indigenous to that area now. Unfortunately for the Kurds, they, you know, like other nomadic people, they didn't have a country. So when when the, when the maps were getting drawn, you don't get a country when you're a nomad. Same thing for the Touareg and other nomadic people. You, whatever whatever borders you 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 found your range in, that country or those are the countries. You don't get a country for being a nomad. I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, historically speaking, no nomads weren't the best of people, but. That's a topic for another uh, day. Um, okay, so for some reason, conservatives, right, right wingers, people who hate the Democrats, which I always say this: I'm not endorsing the Democrats. I'm not a fan of the Democrats, but um, when it comes to these issues, even even though Democrats now they're just they're just this warmongering. It's just that uh, both, either party wants to uh, target different sides, like. Tucker Carlson showed you that in the Vladimir Putin interview where he tried to get Putin to um, he tried to warmonger and demonize against China. And Putin told him correctly, you know, this is just Chinese are just a boogeyman for, you know, we've been hearing this all the time. Like China was going to take over. Um, China still hasn't taken over northeastern Russia. They probably won't. But what what's happening now, the United States has forced China and Russia into being allies. Um, and and that's a topic for another video. But getting back to Trump and his his ultra uber Zionism, Trump is a mega Zionist. Most of his grandchildren, with the exception of uh, Ivanka, his his favorite uh, daughter, he wanted to do incest with. Um, with the exception of Ivanka, all of his grandchildren qualify for Israeli citizenship. All his sons are uh, married. Um, Married into the tribe, and if you know, uh, like I know, uh, if your mother is is um of of Jewish ancestry, you're considered Jewish by them. You could be a member. You could you could join Israel. Uh, I don't know if this they I don't know if they changed it recently, but you know they're they're matrilineal, and converts to Judaism have several roadblocks and a hard time being accepted by them, if ever. So Ivanka. The Wanka is um she's she's converted into Judaism, but do they really consider her Jewish? I don't know. Maybe your best guess is as good as mine. Now, 
Yeah, this, this so Fetzer and these other these callers are like, well, he's to the right of Biden on Israel. Israel's doing a genocide. We need to stop the genocide in Gaza. That's never going to happen. You know, it, the, the Israelis have thoroughly hi hijacked our government. So now, even though popular opinion is finally turning against them and, and the world is finally seeing them for what they are, due to capitalism, uh, and that's investment banking, uh, these corporations, uh, lobbying K Street, they have the money, they have the power, they bought the government. The government is bought. And if they can't buy you, they bribe you or blackmail you. Um, well, actually, bribing is the same. So that's, that, that was, um, I misspoke right there. But if they can't buy you, they, um, they set up honey traps for you. Epstein, uh, Puff Daddy. That sort of thing to get you on camera doing stuff you shouldn't be doing, or or get get you know you doing embarrassing stuff. Maybe it's not necessarily uh, sexually deviant or perverse, but they still got you know cam. But they said Puff Daddy had uh, cameras in the bathroom, so I mean, who knows what he was filming? Like this guy's filming people going to the restroom. So you know, um, yeah. Back back to it though. Like they they thoroughly control the United States and. <clears throat> I haven't spoken to Rudolph in a while. Uh, I don't know whether he's uh, changed his stance on me, whether he doesn't like me or not. I'm not sure. It's been uh, quite a while since I heard from um, Rudolph Berchich, uh, you know, and I'm, I wish him the best. But, um, yeah, this is what I was always trying to figure out. Like, And, and for a while, I was starting to agree that, yeah, Russia is just a Zionist because of people like Mikhail Friedman. And some of the other tribesmen in Russia, the chief rabbi, um, you know, actually, I don't know whether, it, you know, it was two years ago, True News, before they got the axe from YouTube. True News is like um, Christian, they're, 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 like even, they're like evangelical Christians who are actually not Zionists. They're actually anti-Jewish, anti-Zionist, True News, uh, anyway. But uh, True News, before they, they got obliterated from YouTube. They showed the chief, the chief Sephardic rabbi said it was actually cool to be Jewish in Russia. Like, it's actually, it was trendy, he said. But, um, I mean, geostrategically, it looks like Russia does uh, much more to undermine or limit the power of the Judaism. Um, and I'm saying that to avoid uh, being flagged. But, um, you know, Israel's state religion, they do the most to actually try to contain it. You know, all these other places don't do anything. They, they, they actually promote it. The um, LGBTQBC barbecue um, HD DVD community. Um, Russia's putting restrictions on that. Uh, while the West actually promotes it. If you, if you don't, if, if, you're, if you're in a third world country and you don't promote it, they try to cut back your aid, you know, or and, and, and just try to f twist your arm into... Accepting the LGBTQBZ, uh, LMNOP, HD, DVD, um, LGTV community. So, I mean, it, it's we're between a rock and a hard place. If you're an average person, um, and it, you know, average to good, <clears throat> it's um, we're we're in an uphill battle. I, I highly doubt things will work in our favor in the near future, but uh, I mean, we keep at it. And as long as we keep our individual autonomy and for those of us lucky enough to find ourselves in groups that are actually on the right path, you know, it's, it's a blessing for you. But, um, you know, we individuals who see what's going on, it's, it's a tough road for us because even with popular opinion in the United States turning against Israel, they still own the government. And even though they break international law all the time, they, it, they, Iran just, one of the measures Iran just took to retaliate against the murder of their embassy staff uh, was to hijack a, um Israeli-bound ship coming from the Persian Gulf. And, you know, see, once again, people always attack Iran, Syria, these other places, and, and, and pretend as if they're not, oh, they're really not, they're not going to do anything to Israel. Well, okay, let's, let's take that on board. <clears throat> 
if Iran doesn't retaliate forcefully against Israel, I think it would be a mistake, first and foremost. It would be a bad look, and it would just indicate that Israel could keep... Um, it, it, it'll pretty much show Israel could do anything they want with no consequence whatsoever, and they could slowly chip away because you could, Iran has a crucial uh, choice now. They could either die fighting um, from a... A stronger position, or they can wait until they're totally weakened to try. Because either way, they're gonna have to actually uh, take some steps and do some hot war action against Israel. Because Israel just ne Israel never learns from the little consequences they do suffer. They and it reminds me of Trump. They double down. They do stupid things, uh, and they always double down because. Even when they get a little slap in the face back, it, it just does not deter them. You know, <clears throat> uh, it, it's ridiculous, but it, it, Iran has to do something substantial back to them. And they have to call their bluff because, yeah, they, what's happening is going to escalate anyway. And I like how the media says, um, uh, and, and the U.S. position is uh, they escalate tensions. Israel already escalated the tensions by doing that illegal act. And Israel complained about in international law when their uh, ship got attacked. By the way, the ship was owned by an Israeli billionaire um, with some corporation called Zodiac. And that's another big gripe I have with the Israelis. They um, hate European culture and especially the Greek. Well, they hate everybody. And they've been around for a long time. So they hated the ancient Greeks. They hate Greek culture. But they steal from Greek culture. They'll 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 name some of their war implements after uh, Greek uh, gods or mythological figures, like Pegasus, for example. Their spyware, where they steal all our data and information, they named that after a, a, a winged horse from Greek mythology. Um, <clears throat> and this guy names his corporation Zodiac. That's supposed to be against your little silly uh, Judaic laws, okay? Why are you naming, you know, so they're, they're just gross people. Uh, I mean, I, I can't find a, a, a more disgusting ethnic group. Um, well, actually, no, there, there's some close runner-ups. You have the, um, the, the you know, the uh, upper echelons of Indian society, uh, Poland. As, as a whole, I, 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 I despise the country of Poland. It's, it's gross. Just like uh, the English-speaking peoples of the world, they, they're part of the reason we're being uh, enslaved to Israel. Uh, if you look at Polish history, just like Trump, they love the kosher sausage. They love sucking on that kosher sausage. And um, in addition to the Poles, uh, who else are uh, kosher sausage lovers? And you don't have to do it directly. You can do it indirectly. Uh, this this philo-Semitism or spreading their, their, um, their malarkey around the world it's a shame it's a shame but i'm gonna cut the video here like uh, conservatives and Trump, maga people who are uh, who are actually not zionists you shouldn't be surprised that trump and again it's due to I'm, I'm responding to a jim fetzer broadcast jim fetz is still cool uh i, I realize now like most people are not going to agree with my stances on most things, so that's not a problem anymore. Like, uh, people are just going to, people are going to support the wrong thing. Or, or, or when they do support right, every, people can't be right about uh, most topics. So it's, it's good when people are, are a little bit right. And, um, you know, like, people won't investigate stuff, so I, I've come to grips with that. I'm, I'm not mad at anyone but, but the tribe and their affiliates, the people who do the most to further the world into being enslaved by Israel. Uh, those are the people I really can't stand, um, you know, outside of that, uh, conservatives or, or con, I like calling them conservatives because it's a con. Um, and, and again, conservatives aren't always wrong. Um, this whole Protestant work ethic actually is a good thing. So yeah, you shouldn't, people shouldn't feel like they don't have to do any labor, or any effort, and be uh, handed things uh, as people. We should go out and work and do something, um, you know, to benefit ourselves and uh, other people. That's how human societies function. Because I mean, other than that, I mean, you would just live by yourself. Um, but they always take it to the wrong conclusion. 
<laughs> it's like, yeah, I believe in the Protestant work ethic. So, yeah, people who own banks and uh, lenders, they should be able to exploit the general population in the perpetuity and to make sure people can't own things without going into debt. Yeah, I'm going to support that system. Yeah, sounds good. But, you know, yeah, Trump Trump loves sucking on kosher sausages. Um, his, his grandchildren are Israelis. Um, uh, by Israeli law, they could they could get Israeli citizenship. This whole system's a fraud and a scam. And uh, I'll cut this video short here. I actually plan on using my blog talk radio thing late tonight, going into the early a.m. of the next day. Currently, it is Saturday. Was it the 12th of April or it was the 13th? Actually, I think. Yeah, that's that's just it. I mean, uh, Trump Trump loves kosher sausage. He's a he like he likes being on his knees uh, for Netanyahu and the boys, but uh, talk to you later.